let's introduce Mr. Renard. He was a master blender during uh, the time that the Simon family was uh, owning the, the company and uh, actually was not at all in the master blender's team, but it has been um, recognized as a very good nose, you know, so the, uh, the Simon family created the logo, the brandy of Napoleon, they associated to the logo the shadow of Napoleon, and they created the Napoleon quality. And who created the Napoleon quality? Mr. Renard. To make a Napoleon quality today, we blend uh, different uh, samples of Grand and Petit Champagne, because it's a thin champagne uh, blend from 10 to 20 years old and uh, in 1951 the Simon family created the Josephine Bortol which was completely new in the cognac world. I've been told two meanings, the body of Josephine or a glass upside down. The idea was really to have this uh, shape easier to use which has been copied after of course because now the cognac uses this type of bottles and it's still the bottle we have for the S, the SOP and Napoleon. In this picture is the, uh, the team uh, at that time of the Simon family. And we found in our archives an uh, old book of Mr. Renard where it was written all the recipes and uh, this document here. Chez Renard is, a, is the oldest aging cellar that we have in town, a place where we age very old eau de vie which are still in the process of maturation. We have younger eau de vie as well, we are continue to be used for upper qualities. A cognac can age many, many years. Uh, a cognac never stays in the same barrel during all its maturation process. So we start to age our cognac when they just distill for six months, for one year in a barrel, then we will change it to other barrels. And the blend will be done after a few years of aging. And the more upper quality you go, the more steps we need to finalize the product. So we have uh, very old cognac of uh, 50, 60 years, uh, which continue, but we can have younger as well, because this cellar brings a good maturation uh, process, thanks to the humidity. But it's important to have this cellar here, and of course we have many other cellars uh, outside the town. So this is a beautiful view uh, from our Chevenard, uh, and our clients uh, who buy the historical blends premium tour can taste a Napoleon quality, seeing the view and uh, in the middle of this cellar, which is full of history. And if you follow the river, you arrive to the ocean. So the general way the cognac transported to uh, other countries was done by barrels at the very beginning. And the barrels were transported via the river and there was a gabara boat, which is a flat boat, which is used uh, to transport the barrels of cognac. There's only one paradise, only open to a premium tour historic blend. So the paradise clearly is the only place where we stock the oldest bottles of cognac that we hold. So we start by 1929 and then we go down to 1789 to 1815. But the two oldest that we have are from 1789. These bottles are part of our patrimoine heritage. So apart from these bottles, we have damijans that you can see all around. So these are cognacs that can use for specific blends. In the display in front of you as well, you can see very beautiful decanters. This is our Erte collection. The idea of this collection was to associate a very well-known painter, Mr. Erte, who is Russian as well. And uh, we asked him to draw the steps of a vineyard, distillation, etc., etc. And the idea was to do a decanters collection. The blend was the same every year. And Mr. Erte was very important for us. And because he was born in 1892 and in the blend of the cognac Erte, was a touch of his uh, anniversary. As soon as you can keep your bottle of cognac upright, not on a direct light for a long time, and if you don't open your bottle, if you follow the three rules, then you can keep your cognac many, many years. The value, of course, is the value that a collector can pay for your bottle, but we don't add the years of storage in bottles to evaluate a cognac. In fact, for example, uh, a Napoleon, which is a, a blend of uh, cognac from 10, 20 years old, in 50 years, it will not be a cognac of 70 years old. It will be always between 10 to 20 years old.